Hello, vacuumers. It's that time of year again. We have received our order of Mila Blizzard CX-1s. We have the pure suction model here. We're going to unbox it, kind of put it together, and talk about some of the basic features. So let's get started. And the biggest achievement uh, that Mila has made so far with this bagless system is, uh, of course, they've answered kind of the request of consumers, right? Uh, the top vacuum brand being sold right now in the US is the Shark Vacuum Cleaner. And so these came right in time. Uh, these have been available in the UK and Germany for almost two years now. Um, America was the last kind of market to receive them. Uh, one really unique update on the Mila canister lineup, and it's so far been limited to the pure suction models or the suction only models, um, which include this one here in the gray color, as well as the turbo team model in the blue. And it's been this new updated ratchet wand. So their telescoping wand uh, now has this ratchet system on it. Um, it's super smooth to use. So this ratchet uh, wand is a designed for the suction only models. There's no electrical connection on it. It's allowed or its purpose is to transfer the airflow and of course all the debris with it. Um, so that's the first piece we're pulling out of here. Then we've got the main canister, which is, put all this stuff right here. And so I set that right on this stand. All of this can go under, and the other parts and pieces that come with this are going to be the hose. Um, I mentioned this in a couple other videos, but I'm still pretty excited every time I see it. So the newest update as well that Mila has done is these new uh, Vortex hoses. So kind of snug on there. And what I mean by that is the hose actually has two different diameters. So you'll see that the intake um, is wider than where it actually goes into the canister. And so when you put those side by side, what that should generate is a smoother stream of air going through the machine, allowing for better pressure and airflow, um, and hopefully reduced uh, obstructions or clogs. Um, especially for households where there's pets and there might be, you know, twigs or anything on the surfaces. Um, the narrower end goes into the canister, so I'm going to lock that in. You got the good solid feedback that it's locked in because you can hear it click. Um, these are crush proof, as is traditional with Mila's hoses. Um, so that's great. Um, I saw a comment about the quality of the hose. I mean, this feels pretty consistent with Mila's quality. Um, it feels good. It, it's nice and flexible, so um, no concerns there. The wand now has been updated on their suction-only models, um, and I've only seen this on the Blizzard category so far, where the dusting brush is actually integrated into the wand. You get a nice, long, open-handle wand, which feels really good in the hand. Um, and then to and so the way to engage this brush is you'll just kind of push and release. Now that's great when you're trying to do dusting in front of you or anything like that. But my only question is, let's say you wanted to use the dusting feature on the end of the wand here, you're going to be kind of limited because the only length you'll have now is the length of the hose. You won't be able to actually add the tools on the end of this. So um, that might be room for you to buy a extra dusting brush. Um, one that is popular uh, is the SUB20. So uh, that's the universal brush um, and it is a great addition, but uh, you will be limited in terms of dusting to what's actually integrated here on the hose. Um, but it works great, you'll never lose it. Uh, and then this will just kind of connect on the end here, just like that. Now, one thing I noticed is on these new wands, um, this is kind of rubber coated. Um, it's very soft and I'm, I'm actually curious to see what the, I'm curious to ask or find out perhaps from comments below if you guys have any comments um, about why they did that. I'm trying to think of an application where that would be beneficial in terms of um, bumping into something and perhaps reducing strain or stress or scratching, but they only did it on the end. So I'm, I'm curious about that. I'm hoping uh, somebody has an answer for that or we can reach out to Mila and see if they have an answer perhaps. Um, 
But yeah, this new wand is very, very smooth to retract. Um, in the box, you'll also get the SBD 285 head. Um, this is a great head. It's the Alltech head. You can use it on oriental rugs or any type of, uh, you know, upholstered furniture. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, rugs or carpeting. And then when you actually step on this little pedal, it goes into the parquet mode, which is also the hard surface mode. So you'll see these bristles actually come down. And then when I switch back to the rug setting, it retracts. Now, a lot of customers um, I've noticed over the years will kind of be like, oh, so the suction is only limited to this area. That's not true. You can see how this is actually designed to attract air both from the edges and all the way through. And when you actually are using a vacuum cleaner, this whole area should be flush with the surface that you're cleaning. And so the suction or the vacuum will actually be distributed evenly across the entire opening. So um, that's just a little bit of physics for you. For a lot of people kind of have this misconception that it's only limited to cleaning immediately there. Um, but air is fluid just like water and it will actually transfer the suction power to the entire opening here. Um, the other tool you get with the pure suction model of the Blizzard is gonna be the SBB300 uh, tool. This is an excellent tool for hard surfaces. It is limited to being used on hard surfaces because you cannot retract the bristles, but it's got all these openings which allow for all the dust and debris to be sucked in. It doesn't snow plow it to one side. Um, these bristles are super, super soft. Um, so they're really great on any um, you know glossy finished hard surfaces or any really delicate surfaces or anything that's um, a softer material because it, it's definitely not gonna scratch or leave any scrape marks on there. Um, so with that, we've got these two heads, the wand, the hose, and the unit. Now let's focus a little bit on the canister. I'm going to show you guys here that the um, canister will come with. So this is a new designed uh, upholstery tool. Uh, so historically, Mila used to include these material-based upholstery tools, actually very similar to the um, upholstery or the lint removers. You can see these are kind of a reverse grain lint remover here that's on the SBD head. Um, it used to have the same material, you used to get the same material on these tools um, and they've switched to more of a rubber material. So my guessing is uh, this is probably more cost effective to produce, hopefully has a longer lifespan as well and um, will still serve the same function in terms of all right, and so that tucks right back into the machine right here. Uh, the other tool that is actually mounted on board is the crevice tool. Um, Mila historically has included um, a non-marring material in their tools, so shouldn't rub off on anything or anything like that. And that stores nice and square right here. Now, um, one thing to be aware of is with Mila historically, their tools, uh, you absolutely want to follow their lead and in reinserting them and installing them to the machine. So if you try to put it in the wrong way, it won't go. There's a little notch. So you just want to line up the notch, pop it into place. Um, all right, let's see here. So I think I will attach the more versatile of the two tools to the unit. Um, a lot of people also don't know that there are these, this notch here and the mounting uh, spot for this machine is right there. Uh, I've seen customers come in all the time with Mila vacuums that they've had a long time and they'll have that same notch on the back of their machine or side of the machine or bottom of the machine and they never knew that that was to actually dock the tools on the unit. You have one on the side um, and you'll have one actually on the bottom. So that makes it very easy with this machine to actually carry it one handed up and down the stairs, maneuver it. One thing that is consistent on Mila now um, with their canisters um, in the Blizzard line is they're including four rubber casters. So these casters are soft rubber, which is great for anybody that's concerned about their hard surfaces. Um, there's also a transition on the wheel. So as you go over obstacles or transitions in your home, if you're trying to actually get over a surface um, or transitioning from like your hard surface um, to a carpet, this will help it glide and just kind of transition between those surfaces much, much smoother. Um, so those three wheels are right there. We've got the mounting uh, dock right there. Uh, for people that are ever trying to get service or support on their Mila vacuum cleaner, a lot of people don't realize that this sticker here has all the pertinent information for that. So it should have the serial number on it. 
Um, this one has a production date on it as well, so you'll know when the machine was produced. Um, so yeah, put that here. And uh, otherwise, you have your manual, the extra SBB tool, and that's it for the unboxing of the machine. Subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more. We'll actually do some testing of this machine, uh, comparing it perhaps to some of the other models that Milo makes, and we'll do kind of an in-depth maintenance and how to do a video of how to maintain this vacuum yourself. Um, so, you know, rather than having to read this long manual and kind of uh, sometimes they're not as clear perhaps uh, with manuals historically, that's kind of the case, we'll do a step-by-step -step maintenance on this machine so you can maintain your new Mila uh, properly and adequately for years to come. Otherwise, subscribe, like us if you enjoyed the content, and uh, as always, for any of your Mila or vacuum cleaner needs in general, try us at morethanvacuums.com. Happy cleaning.